morning, I'm a mess. Before we get started, let's head on over to your pledge. It's Grace here with your school news for today. Today is day 6, Monday, February 27th, and these are your student announcements. Our spring musical is hosting a trivia night this Friday at 6 p.m. in the LMMS cafeteria. Teams can be anywhere from 2 to 8 people, and middle school teams must have an adult with them. The cost is $25 per team. Come out and enjoy the fun. Like painting? Join painting with Pomeran in March. Check your schedule with your families first. You will need to attend a Tuesday and Thursday in one week. Posters hanging on the first floor have more info. You must sign up with Mrs. Pomeran in room 415 in advance. Success team Bear Creek Snow Tubing Night is on March 9th. Paperwork and $24 payment is due by Thursday. Spots are filling up. Don't miss out. Boys Volleyball Open Gym is today, Wednesday and Friday from 245 to 445. Tryouts start next Monday. For permission slips and physical forms, see Ms. Blows in room 410, homeroom or ninth period. Today's lunch is Waki Taco Beef and Cheese. Tomorrow's lunch is General So's Chicken Bowl. That's all for your student announcements. Now let's head on over to your world news for today. Hey Alma Mess, it's here here with your world news. Today I'm sharing a story about Penn State's 51st year of fundraising for Four Diamonds with a 46 hour long no sleeping or sitting dance marathon that raised a total of $15 million this year. Four Diamonds is a national nonprofit fund that goes towards 100% of all medical expenses for families with childhood cancer at Penn State Health Children's Hospital. This dance party is the world's largest student run philanthropy program. The event was had over 16,000 student volunteers and 707 dancing participants. This event was held on the evening of February 17th up to 4 p.m. the 19th. Would you ever be interested in doing this when you're older? That's all for your world news today. Now and over to your weather update. Hello, hey, message Terry with your weather update for today. Today's high is 43 with a low of 27 and it's having a 60% chance of snowing. Tomorrow's high is going to be 40 with a low of 31 with a 60% chance of raining. LMS, what did one wall say to the other wall? I'll meet you at the corner. Now on over to your sports update. Good morning, LMS. It's Julia with your sports news for today. How many of you play baseball? Well, the MLB has recently announced and approved a new rule. This rule involves both infielders and outfielders in an attempt to protect batters and runners from being unfairly ruled out while running. This rule says that the defensive team is required to have two fielders on either side of the second base. This creates a violation against any player or team attempting to do a shift against a particular batter. All four infielders are also required to have both feet in the dirt. This means all parts of their bodies must be on the dirt and not backed up into the outfield grass. If any player violates this new rule, it will result in either a ball or the batting team can let the play stand. So LMMS, what do you think about this new rule being put in place? That's all for me. Now over to your entertainment news for this morning. Good morning, Alma Mess. It's Jossie here, back with your entertainment news for the week. Jesus Revolution, released in theaters last Friday on the 24th, has been very successful in just the three days that it has been streaming. The movie is about a sea of young people in the 1970s descended on sunny Southern California to, quote, redefine truth through all means of liberation, end quote. The main character, Lori, meets a charismatic street preacher and a pastor who opens the doors to a church to a stream of wandering youth 
what unfolds is a counterculture movement that becomes the greatest spiritual awakening in American history. The movie is running at two hours long and is in many theaters near us, including the Trexler Town Movie Tavern and both the Promenade and Tillman Square AMCs. Are you going to see this movie, LMMS? Well, that's it for me. Now let's head over to your segment of the day. Today, I'll be talking about Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges is a civil rights activist who helped change the school system for black children all over America. Ruby Bridges was born on September 8, 1954 in Tylertown, Mississippi. When she was just two, her family moved to Louisiana for better work opportunities. The same year Ruby was supposed to attend kindergarten, the U.S. Supreme Court passed the Brown v. the Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas landmark, which ended racial segregation in public schools. However, even though the landmark was passed, the southern states still continued to resist integration. But in 1960, the court ordered Louisiana to desegregate. In response, the school district added a system in place where colored kids had to take entrance exams in order to attend an all-white school. Ruby was one of the few that passed. After much debating, her parents decided it would be best for Ruby to attend the school. Every day, Ruby and her mother were escorted by four federal marshals to the school. She walked past crowds who would yell vicious slurs at her. A lot of her, a lot of the parents pulled their children out of the school because of Ruby. The only teacher who agreed to teach her was named Barbara Henry. All year, Ruby was a class of one. She ate lunch and played at recess alone, but she still never missed a day of school that year. Most of the city hated Ruby's family because she was going to the school. Her father lost his job and grocery stores refused to sell to her mother. All in all, Ruby still graduated from a desegregated high school and became a travel agent. She got married and had four sons. Later, she also wrote two books about her experiences. Today, Ruby is 68 years old and has established the Ruby Bridges Foundation to promote tolerance and create change through education. That's all for your Buzz TV. Have a great day.